Aaron Coyle Savili. The old revolutionary fatigues have been burned, discarded or mourned, put on these aging crescendos, these desolate, worthless pyres of a communion with the soft hand, soft brained, soft hearted wannabes who in their radicalism of vegetarianism, their boycott of the corporations they vote for, leave these aged commandos with nothing left in this world but to die. And disheartened, are the drunks who pile on this burden of knowing how their crippled capacity in a world left for the violence of armies, the powers of helicopters, the might and grit of the financial impresarios who bloodstained in their motives and cogs leave us individuals, us bands, us thinkers for shame, done out and more worthless than the sheep in the field who baw to the beat of a sin. And who there are you? with your whittled words, your tired ideologues, useless banter and flat rhetoric, but a bloated corpse waiting with no merit for a, a death dishonorable, leaking of fluid, shifting one's weight, a fucking carbon footprint akin to the cows that we slaughter, the mules we move, the masses of coal and iron, the coyotes we hire to rip of the Heinfleisch in Asia, the parakeets with their constant tweet, 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 born of this flesh, of this legacy, in our heritage of ego, of the fire that we have crafted from the penalty of gods, took force of the power structure with simple firearms, cigars, left their word in hefty education of this world to prepare and to discipline and to train for an exercise in defiance where the flesh was not polysaturated, obese, pockmarked, the flesh was for the sacrifice of the children, the women we fucked, who in this belief supported us in their loss of human life. And now of this young, supple, beautiful skin that we possess, our coverings, our fleeing desire for a sex hung from noose, danger, unfulfilled consumption, rotting out with stretch marks and disease, asking for a health insurance is to ensure a health worth living asking for your mouth to be wrapped around the cockpit of genocide is the forgiving and the support that we laud on to technocrats corporate pinatas already planning for your job to be overseas for profit for patronage for your help we kill our human morality for jehovah god or your buddhism or the shinto prince of peace would strike down this monstrosity in righteous anger, these demons, these figureheads of structured robbery, befoulment, decay of soul. You cannot live this life on the dole of such grand immorality, abuse. These people who govern our safe and ordered routines are evil, obtuse, ignoble, and this preaching, this sermon you're hearing comes straight from the Bible. This message is one of deliverance, of forfeiting our human right to fight, that there is no cure, no right, so what else can we do but subsist, enjoy, and exactly what do we have left but disheartened more rebels? Paranoid conspiracy artists, deluded reactionaries, social cause activists, throw your money at the fires of a trouble brewing deep in the earth's cauldron. Release some stress of mind and how you enjoy the lifestyle of materialism you live. Push that off on the people who are paid to care about what you pay to care for. Little by little, we are making a difference in dollars and cents, won and euros. Each child of the gorillas will soon be fed a McDonald's hamburger, receive shoes, a filtered drinking water is the least one can expect in a civilized world. And as we reach out to our spiritual brethren at the Sunday service, we fill out all of our hopes, ambitions, wants, and desires on the shoulders of gods who they have propped up for you to believe in. Silence the gods who would disobey. They have silenced the voices of the most populous earth in human history. An achievement, a feat of social decadence, do they continue to realign resources, flesh, cut, cold, soul,
weighed, delivered, commingled, seasoned, consummated, and eaten for true barbarians, true violence, and depraved desperation does not seek a package or a designation. It is labeled out of fear of death as a heathen, a murderer, a terrorist, a murderer, so shall you lament. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was a few, a couple of protests, a few on the rain. Are we still rolling? Start playing. We're gonna do one more poem, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming out to Governor's Island. This is the Chumley stage. We are, of course, www.undergroundbooks.org. We're gonna be doing one more poem from a new book that you can find available at the Underground Books table. It is called The Pocket Assassin of Love, side A and side B. It's a beautiful little mini book that you can slice in half and literally take two books and put them in your pockets. Give us one second. This poem is entitled, The Great American Revolution Begins in Your Eyes. The great American Revolution begins in your eyes. The continental shift when you gaze up at the pines. The dog barking in the background. It begins as no one man versus nettle. As no one man versus tree. But of the great bark, we ensue the kindling green and stalwart our toes touching grass, our feet barren and sublime, our teeth uncleaned. You ignore the hippies. These hippies are not of your kind. No bed in, no sacrilegious entombment to be. We have rest our capitalistic idioms with these. We have earned our short hair recollection that yes, we have proven it to be. The dollar earners, the DOS programmers, the succulent iPod to be. We have sit in this grass amongst barren seas. We listen to the IPCC. We hear the calls for Nixon to be demolished. Why wouldn't we to be this Rome, this unburdened sacrilege of convertibles, this back and forth we discuss so earnestly to beat? We nigger, we people, have far more than political identities that gestate our certain destruction to be. And yet in loneliness, and yet in misunderstood, we sit on the lands of our forefathers and county, not regaled countries of freedom, and sit bewildered our own self-identity, hoping that this, our lasting, our unquestionable voices are left rendered. We look at movies, we look at potent money earners, and yield our crotch, not explainable to celluloid, a purpose to beat. And we raid no to little fathom. We raise low our children's banners. We raise our low children beatings to slaps, child snaps, father's touch, to beat a reality we ignore for our own defeat. What frustrates me more than Iraqis, what deems me more than media per honesty, is that whether we shall hoist ourselves adobe home to shatter, our home to retreat, we are but little noisy buggers that media and video gutters pre-replicate with one-person shooters. The answers are felt in mashing keyboards and PlayStation controllers. We're meant to greet these raids these player liaisons, these level ups, they are for you to gestate, to get out into the sun and gestated earth. We seem to greet on dog days, on good days, on lasting rain. They fail to relate. That was a poem entitled The Great American Revolution Begins In Your Eyes. Are we still rolling? We're gonna do one more, ladies and gentlemen. This is a uh, poem entitled uh, Human Diction. Hot house smoke on tits to supple my cask with lips, scudding the inhaled down rested life force. Gainsay this morality terse. Open our hearts to Christ. Attend our children's baptism. 
holding their tiny heads in cistern declarum our open hearts of Christ. Here my kindred gather on lee, for these humid breaths scintillated we shall overcome in streets, talk hoary misguided attempts, and lavish one's love on sore petals, oiled Rubicon modish belief, burdened our force on earth, breathed gravid to fall, defeated. Shall we roar up our Greek antiquities, pinsmith a seraph in epic meanderings, to justify this abusive nonchalant orgy, triggering our erected waddled color, tolling dearly in necessity of brevity action, our chest holds within the fractured sanctuary mediums of selenium, meager shavings of lead. Please render us clays in your hand and guide us near, say, to the Jinshin blooms that adjoin our seclusion, an acumen heart, a Benedictine monk, that we pray to feel weary in honest mirth, human words lost, unrendered perforations of ink. These small boats harbor questions of neighbor. Schoon cross tide surf, surface for answer. If you brought dead trees, would you warm up? For if I plant here, will I flee pop em to emerge handling hatchet, pulling drug uproot log? For when the gift of God pulled close to crypto, no easy current to waste a smiling bopper. On this terra firma, there are no easy conflicts, but violent love and pillars to remember. This is a little poem about love and heroin. For me, the best feature is her drip, a succulent snatch for such a huge prick. And down she goes, enlarging my capillaries. For this entangle a small high canary, we coalesce such a sickly chirp of song and leave each other tickled on floor. Pit up potatoes stuffed a rich man's needle, a ubiquitous poverty to hold and enjoy. To snicker and shoot, we will brandish dancing shoes, twirling about on the fashionable romance struck within our veins. A beautiful kiss of alchemists, we polish our philosophers stoned, merrily hop down Alice's vacuous and emerge together hand in hand, a small meaty portion of habitual intake. Ladies and gentlemen, we are undergroundbooks.org. You can check us out on the interwebs. We have a beautiful table with some amazing books. Let's give a warm round of applause for all of the readers that we came out. Michael Del Castillo, Oren Corosovili, Megan Robertson, and Jeremiah Walton. I am James Brownie Kevel. Thank you very much. Go to Island. Have a lovely poetry festival. Yeah.